Hello everyone and welcome to new video. As I promised today we will making a setup review. So we will talk about how I made it, how much money I spent, how you can set up your triples correctly uh, without tearing lug and other issue. And I will show you setup all around so you can make something like this. So let's go. Yeah, a lot of your comments is show us around the setup, how you mount everything, angle of the screens and that type of questions. I will try to show you everything now. So, we have here like uh, also wall mount, but I paid the welder to make me two of these for the left and right screen. It cost me like $70, nothing that much. For the third screen, it is mounted on the wall, simple like that. Don't look my PC. Is open like this. <laughs> I will show you specification later and how much I pay it. So let's go to the screens now again. Uh, like you see, I mounted with duct tape, uh, which worked well. I don't know. I tried with rubber, some rubber plates. I don't know from the start, but it moving, it not looks so good. But duct tape fix everything, bro. So also here I have like this cover. Uh, because light splashing all around the screens I don't like that so so I fix it like this nothing that much from the carton board which you can remove it like this and you see here angles of the screens so that's it almost everything what you need to know around the setup so we can talk about now graphics and how you correctly the setup your three screens without tearing lug another issue let's go from this side we have white shark cockpit which comes with the wheel holder and this seat so i must make central dashboard uh, for tablet uh, shifter and handbrake so i will show you now how i fix everything uh, with the metal plates and some l profiles it looks like this it's not really clean but it do a job uh, yeah, I want to show you one more thing. Uh, so this is how you can make the free bezel skit. So you don't see the gap between these TVs. You can simply destroy old 24, 27 inch monitor. Not aggressively like that. I'm just kidding. And you have inside three or four layers. So the issue you find this one which is transparent from one side, uh, from other side is not that much. Yeah, completely different, but you have a point. So that's it, just strut uh, between the screens like 5-6 cm, depends uh, how big your screens are, and that's it, you're ready to go. So yeah, I think most important thing here is to set up your surroundings correctly. So you don't have a low performance, bad quality, lag tearing issue. So if you follow me a couple steps, I will try to show you how I do it. So it can work like in 60 FPS, 60 Hz fluently. So the first thing, uh, put your screens on the game mode. Uh, the second thing, be sure you have good quality cables and uh, when you plug in the screens, you will probably not find a problem with first two ones. Uh, it will appear to be like 60 Hz 4K, but third screen always make make problem. Like it will appear to be uh, 30 Hz 4K. You can't just go like display settings and put like the this one on the 60 and open open surroundings. Uh, it will not work. It will. It will work, but with 30 FPS, you know. What you can do, uh, you can download this CRU program. I will put it in description. You can just open it and it will show you how your screens are performing, you know. Uh, if you look here, for me, it's appearing like Samsung uh, 735C, you know. And if you click on it, it will appear like 4K 60 Hz. Uh, if it's one of them appearing like A, like you see here, 30, 30 Hz, you don't open your surroundings. Uh, just put it third screen manually on the game mode uh, and unplug and plug screens until you get 
the C1 or whatever it's number B or letter, you just need the 60 Hz, you know. If you do it everything correctly, you can just go like show more options, NVIDIA control panel, uh, configure surroundings, uh, just put the numbers like you like it's appearing to here. Uh, you can switch it like this, nothing much, and apply surroundings. That's it, what you need to do about uh, NVIDIA, <coughs> NVIDIA setup. I also have questions about Assetto Corsa graphic settings, so I will show you here. Uh, I'm running like triple 2K with uh, activated vertical synchronization and limit free rate to the 60. Everything else, uh, it not means too much. You can put it on the maximum like I do. And what else I can show you? Uh, if you go to the custom shaders patch, uh, here, 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 just a second, snack fix. You will see I almost disable everything here. Only thing uh, what I do is base hedge off put to the 15 you know uh, that's why I'm sitting on the left side of the setup if you wanna sit on the right you just slide uh, this one to the left yeah, it's inverted but it works like that you know that's only what you, what I can show you from Assetto Corsa yeah how much I pay everything this wheel cost me like $450 uh, two years ago uh, this custom wheel from eBay is like $60 and extension what you need 3d printed extension is like $30 uh, I buy this tablet use it like for $40 uh, This PXN central dashboard is $60 uh, Shifter is actually expensive. It's about like $200. I buy it like two years ago uh, the handbrake is the cheapest one from eBay. I think like $40 uh, Screens are most expensive here. I paid each like $500 so I you need three of them What else uh, the cockpit what I'm sitting on it's uh, $250 And what else my PC? I buy almost everything used and it costs me like $1200, nothing that much, $12 or $1300. I think that's, that's all it.